guys, how you doing? Today I am going to show you how to make a simple door hanger. This little project can be used for any holiday. I always like gifting my kids little things. Sometimes I just surprise them. You can use it on Valentine's, you can use it on Easter, you can use it any day of the year. I am featuring this gorgeous, gorgeous paper and it is called, let me see, Dry Brushed Metallic Specialty Designer Series Paper. So they have, this is actually Petal Pink and Cajun Craze with the gold. And then this one is the Soft Succulent, which really surprised me because I kind of thought it was Tahitian Tide at first, but it is actually Soft Succulent and it is gorgeous. So I am featuring that today. I was out shopping after Valentine's Day and I ran across this cute little um, owl here and that's what got me thinking, hey, let's do something with these, uh, these cute little adorable owls before they go away. So if you like this set, they are currently uh, one of the items you can pick for free out of the celebration catalog or the celebration brochure for any $50 order. So if you want that, you need to hurry up and place your order because that does end February 28th. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me or you can visit my online store and it'll show you all the products that are currently available for free with your $50 or $100 order. And remember, that's an increment, so you can get product for every $50 you spend. There are two levels, a level one, which is a $50 item. If you spend 100 or more, you can pick a level two item. It's definitely your choice. But again, I don't want to confuse anybody. I just want to give you that option. We are using the adorable owls today, and I'm going to show you how to put this cute little thing together. I'm going to use mine for, I think, my daughter's birthday. She's going to be turning 17 and I'm going to surprise her with a bunch of her goodies and, you know, a couple Starbucks gift cards. She'll love that. So today I'm going to bring in my Simply Scored scoring board. I love this thing so much. Anybody that watches my videos knows how much I love my scoring board. Okay, so going to use a piece of designer series paper. I do apologize. You will need a 12 by 12 sheet of paper for this project. I chose to use base blah. I chose to use basic black just because I thought it really made the paper pop. So, whatever color you choose and that is going to be cut at 10 and 3 quarters by 11 and a half. So on our 11 and a half inch side, we're going to go ahead and score that at a half an inch. And then we're going to score at two inches, at six inches, at seven and a half. We're going to rotate that and we're going to score at one and a half inches. And then Oh, I should have flipped this over. And then we're going to score to this score line here. So I'm going to flip that over so I can don't have to score all the way across. And I'm going to score that at four and three quarters to your last score line here. So just at four and three quarters all the way to the last score line. Okay, we're going to take that apart and then we are going to remove some pieces. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that in this chalk marker. So we're going to remove our little bottom piece of our glue tab and then we'll edge wedge in each of our cuts here. So we are going to move, remove this, 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 and this. So all of this is going to be removed, okay? So you can do two things. You can bring cut in with your scissors or you can bring in your cutting board. Um, 
I don't cut real straight, so it's a lot easier for me just to bring in that cutting board. So I'm going to bring that in and I'm going to line this up at four inches and then I'm going to cut, I'm going to come down here to my six inch mark. Go up just a tiny hair and then I'm just going to slice that up. And then same thing here, I'm going to come over, what is this measurement? Yeah, six inches. I'm going to come down to seven and a half and just slice it up. Okay, so that is removed. Take my cutting board. Ouch. Get it out of the way. And then I'll just remove this little bottom piece right here with my scissors. It's black, so I, I apologize. It's very hard to see. I'm just going to wedge in on both sides there and I will also do a slight wedge up here like so and then I will cut straight up that score line and wedge in on my tab and same thing here we'll cut straight up cutting that score line away and then just wedge in like so. So when you're done, it will look like, like this. Okay. Then all we're going to do is fold and burnish. Give it a nice burnish. So when it folds over, it's going to fold and close like this to make your front pouch. I know it's so hard to see on that black paper. So the next thing we're going to need is we're going to need a piece of designer series paper. And that is cut at three and three quarters by nine for the inside of this. I think I'm going to run it that way. And then just go ahead and use your uh, tape runner. I'm going to use my tape runner here. Use your tape runner or liquid glue, whatever works best for you. Oh no, now I'm out of glue. Oh goodness, goodness. I did finally order some of the stamp and seal, so we're back in business that way. Okay, so we're just going to put that right there, giving it a nice, nice little border all the way around. And then we'll bring in our cut and emboss machine. I hope this one will work. And I'm going to use, for this project, I am actually using three of the layering circles and they measure, I wrote them down. So for the actual opening, we're going to use the one that measures two and an eighth across. And then we will also be using the black or the circle that measures two and three eighths and then to create the frame we're going to use the circle that measures two and five eighths across okay so i'm going to bring in my two and an eighth inch die i don't know if this is gonna i don't think this is gonna fit in there no i'm gonna have to bring in my big die machine let me grab that real quick Bring that in so you can see. 
how dirty my board is. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this piece over so it'll run through. And we're just gonna put a hole right at the top. We'll just run that through. And then we'll have that really pretty piece that you can make some kind of card with. I'll have to play with that. And then I wanted to create a frame. You can leave this opening just as it is because it is beautiful, but I'm gonna put a frame around that. So I'm just, I just brought in a piece of uh, soft succulent scrap paper, and I'm gonna use my largest, well, not the largest die, but the two and five eighths, did I say it was? Yeah, two and five eighths circle. And then I'm just going to layer, if I can find it, that two and an eighth circle on the inside, trying to manage to create a nice frame on the out. You can kind of see the inside there. And then we're just gonna run that through our big shot. Bring that back, pop our dies out. And then you've created your frame there and you have a nice circle for another project, maybe with that same paper we used. Okay, let me move this out of the way. And we're gonna bring this back in. I'm just gonna add a little um, liquid glue to the back of that and stick that down. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Glue on my work surface. Bring that silicone mat in. If y'all don't have that, it is fantastic. Nothing sticks to it. You can just wash it off with some dishwashing soap and it comes right off. It's wonderful. Okay, so we've got our circle so we can put it on the doorknob itself. And then just to create the base here, I used a piece of soft succulent that was two and three quarters by three and then I cut a piece of the designer series paper that was three and a half by two and three quarters so three and three quarters by three three and a half by two and three quarters nope I can't use that one okay I'm just going to layer that on There we go. And then we'll just put that right onto the front of our box base. You can do this at any time. For me, it's just easier when everything's laying flat. You know what I'm saying here? So I'm just gonna lay that there. Like so. And then I'm gonna add you can use liquid glue or you can use our fabulous tear and tape. You can use our stamp and seal plus, whatever works best for you. I'm just gonna go ahead and add some tape there. And then this will be the front of our box. So I'm gonna add some, yes. So I'm gonna add some tear and tape here as well. These are cute little boxes to make. They, I don't know about you, but mornings in my house is pretty rough, so I like when they wake up happy. <laughs> Got a little tear and tape there. I'm gonna go ahead and burnish it down. Okay, and then I'm just gonna remove the backing. Take this, fold it over. 
So if you fold it on the, if you see this, don't fold it here, fold it on this one. Just fold it over and it will line up perfectly. And then all you got to do is press it down like that. Okay, so even if you want to make these in advance, you can make a bunch of them in advance and store them like this. And then when you're ready, just ad uh, adhere the bottom. And then we're just going to fold this over. Remove that. Like so. Okay, and then you've created your door hanger. It's simple, right? So the next thing I want to do was decorate it a little bit. So I'm going to use the little owl that likes to fly and hoot hoot, you're so cute. I'm going to be using my uh, oval punch, my double oval, oval punch. And I did cut a basic white circle using that two and an eighth inch circle die and then using the two and three eighths inch circle die I cut myself a black piece as well. Now you can do you can stamp your owl in the memento black ink. I chose to use my early espresso to do this. Um, it, to me it just felt like it blended a little bit better so that's what I chose to do but the black Black ink looks just as good. Just gonna stamp this little cutie patootie down. And then I'll color him in. While I have my pads out, I'm gonna bring in a scrap of Whisper White. And then with my Memento ink, I'm gonna stamp Hoot Hoot, you're so cute. And that's all the stamping we're doing. Now to color in my owl, these things, they're like so cute when you take, you know, when you get little pictures and stuff of them. But when you see them up close, they're really, really kind of ugly. One scared me so bad. It was in my backyard and it turned its head like all the way around. And I thought there was a, a possessed cat in my backyard or something. It was creepy. So... I'm going to color his eyes green because I like green eyes. And as for that, for this green, I am using the light shaded spruce. I will tell you the dark shaded spruce was a little bit dark. And then to make his eyes pop, of course, I'm bringing in that wink of Stella, making his eyes all glittery. So they really stand out. I know you can't see it. I know you can't hardly see that, but it's really cute. They glitter. And then for his beak and his feet, I'm using the light Calypso Coral. And I just use the, the bullet end. And when I got real little spots to color, I just kind of, I just kind of tap it because that you know, that ink spreads, so I just kind of tap it and then just pick it up. Okay. And then I use my light and my dark Daffodil Delight to color him in all the way. So, voila, I did it. <laughs> What I did here is I actually popped him up onto the black instead of gluing him to the to the black and then popping up the black. I'm actually just popping up the little owl. And I'll put him right there. Bring this back in, and then I'm going to glue that straight down to the front of the box. And I'm bringing my punch and cut out my hoot hoot, you're so cute.
And then I have a piece of basic black that I'm just going to cut the scallop part of that oval out. And then this one I will glue. Oh, I don't need liquid glue. I can just do this. Sometimes I make things more complicated for myself. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this with a little bit of glue. We're getting there. Okay. So I'm going to have him kind of coming this way because I don't want... I'm just going to kind of attach that. And then I'll put a dimensional there. And I'll glue this down. Oh, I forgot to take the backing out. Donnie, Donnie. Take the backing off of that one dimensional there. Good thing I used liquid glue. <laughs> okay. Press that down. And there is your box. Is that super cute or what? I love it. So again, this is the soft succulent. Let me move this out of the way. And this is petal pink and calypso coral. So gorgeous paper. Tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you again this time next week. If you need anything, please feel free to reach out and contact me. Go out there, have a great week, and happy crafting, y'all.